So, Concord. We're here talking about Concord. Well, I live here in North Carolina. We got Concord here. But it's a lot more popular than this Concord. Actually, Concord is pretty. I mean, it's not big. It's not like Charlotte big, but there's a lot to do there. Um, you'll have a good time, unlike this Concord. Uh, Concord Insider believes original parent company will not survive game's catastrophic failure. So if you worked on this game and you weren't, say, the level design, because, I mean, clearly you were just level design. You you didn't do anything wrong here. You're not the you're not the one who designed the characters. So if you're not character uh if you're not level designed, you should be fired. Like anyone who worked on this game looked at it and said, Oh yeah, this is ready to be put out after eight years and four hundred million dollars. If you looked at this game and said, Yeah, this is good to go, you need to be fired immediately. Uh, Concord Insider alleges that the game's original parent company, Probably Monsters, will not survive the game's catastrophic failure that saw it get shut down by Firewalk Studios and PlayStation in less than two weeks after its initial release due to lack of players. We have Dr. Eggman over here. If you recall... PlayStation and Firewalk Studios shut down Concord back in September with Firewalk Studios game director Ryan Ellis announcing on the PlayStation blog. At this time, we have decided to take the game back, uh, take the game offline beginning September 6, 2024 and explore options, including those that will, uh, will better reach our players. It's not coming back. He also shared that the company will be offering refunds while we determine the best path ahead. Concord sales will cease immediately. And we will begin to off, uh, offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased a game for PS5 and PS, uh, PC. If you purchase a game for PS5 and uh, from the PlayStation Store, PlayStation Direct, the refund will be issued back to your original payment method. Uh, <laughs> the game released August 23rd. It only hit a peak and current player count of 697. which is terrible. Uh, it also did not do well on PlayStation. The latest data from PSP pro, uh, PSN profiles indicates the, that only 1,000, so 1,800 people purchased the game. True Trophies also reported the game bombed out of the gate, landing at 147th most, pop, most popular PlayStation game on its weekly chart when it first released. In second week, the game fell to 180. When it's when it was in early access and open beta, it was in the 29th position. After the game was the game was shut down, it was reported that the game lost uh, reportedly cost 400 million to develop, not including what Sony paid to purchase Firewalk Studios. Uh, Colin Moriarty, 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 Chef Boyardee. Uh, shared a video uploaded to uh, Twitter and an insider informed him that Concord cost about 400 million to make. Uh, he went then he went on to reveal that probably Monsters, the original owner of Firewalk Studios and Concord before selling the PlayStation Studios, uh, Sony and the game's original investors had spent 200 million on the game before it even made it to its alpha state. Uh, Chef Boyardee uh, said, "Up to this point of the game, uh, up to the point of the game when Alpha of the game went to Alpha State, they had already spent two hundred million on it, and it's unclear how much of that money was from probably monsters and the original investors into the game, uh, and how much of it was from Sony." Uh, when the game had. When the game had 200 million spent on it, it was basically in an alpha form in Q1 of 2023. From that point until the game launched, Sony, until the game launched, Sony spent another 200 million on it. Uh, the scuttlebutt behind the scenes about Concord is that the game was in a laughable shape when it was shown, basically when the alpha was ready to go. It was in such horrible shape that Sony felt they needed to spend that much money again. 
So 200 plus 200, you get the same of the MVP uh, status. Not to uh, not to the status of being a great game, just to get uh, just to get to uh, to just uh, get it to viability. A major expense was ur urgently outsource uh, much of the game was to urgently outsource the game, uh, source much as of the game to other studios to finish building the game out. And the two and that two fundamental games uh, were not worked on at all up to that point in which the game was shown in alpha. Onboarding, nothing about that. Uh, there was nothing about how players make their character, uh, all that kind of stuff, or choose their character and get there. Uh, and monetization, two very expensive, very specific and boutique things uh, that have that had to, uh, things that happen to games like this. Concorder Insider tells the Park Place that he does not believe that uh, probably monsters will survive moving forward, albeit he does think there are some people who might be able to salvage the company and thread the needle, but only time will tell. Will they be able to survive this catastrophic blow? Find out on the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, he also noted that the morale in the company is horrifically low. That's great. Um, unsurprisingly, given Firewalk Studios concept artist Amanda Kiefer previously revealed the employee. Yeah, we already we went over that. Yeah, I remember making fun of them because it's like, well, produce a good game and you won't have to worry about people losing their jobs. Uh Furthermore, probably monsters did appear to be heavily con uh, connected with Sony PlayStation, and it led the PlayStation purchasing Firewalk Studios. Led to the PlayStation purchasing Firewalk Studios on 20 April 2023. At the time of the purchase, head of PlayStation Studios Herman Hulst stated, "We've had the privilege of working with probably monsters and Firewalk for several years. The game took like eight years to produce, which is insane." Eight years, four hundred million dollars, and it got taken down after two weeks. Uh, for several years, and our team shared the same ambitions to create meaningful experiences for gamers. Firewalk's innovative approach to connected storytelling and its commitment to high-quality gameplay continues to exceed our expectations. I think fans will be very pleased when they see what Firewalk has in store for them. Probably Monster CEO and President Harold Ryan also added, Probably Monsters is incredibly proud of the team and the game we incubated and built over the past few years. Eight. Firewalk Studios joining PlayStation Studios is a brilliant move for the team, game, and future players. Our goal at Probably Monsters is to find the best path to market for all the for all our games, and we couldn't be happier for Firewalk the Firewalk team. Uh, the connection goes as far back as so the founding of Firewalk Studios. Pro, uh, Firewalk Studios at Probably Monsters in 2018. Fire, Firewalk Studios. Uh, Firewalk Studios Studios Ed Tony Sue uh, revealed to IGN back in 2021 with Probably Monsters support. We will be able to really focus on a game concept we've been excited about since we met Sony in 2018. Uh, and since that, since the first meeting with them, we've been incredibly excited and huge supporters and not just the team, but also the project that we've been working on. Oh, that's funny. That's funny stuff. Who needs comedy when you have this? I am the egg man what i am i am the egg man i've got the master plan i am the egg man now um yeah so whatever happens you spend eight years and 400 million dollars i don't think you should be able to should be allowed to survive after that 
you shouldn't be allowed to survive after that. Like I said, if you're if you were working on say the the the, the level design, that's one thing. You know, and I hope those people, if something happens, they, you know, they 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 land on their feet immediately. But uh, character design and anything else uh, that isn't stage design, if I. <laughs> I'd be ashamed if I worked for a company that spent eight years and four hundred million dollars making a game, and then that game was pulled two weeks after release. After release, two weeks, boom! It's like, oh yeah, we're refunding the game for anyone who wants it, and uh, you're no longer going to be able to purchase the game from the store. I'd be ashamed. So. You know, sometimes, you know, live and learn. Uh, you made a crappy game after, you know, took eight years, made a crappy game. Now, hopefully you guys, uh, you know, learn from that experience. Maybe you've learned to not make crappy games. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going through the heads, but I would think that after an uh, abysmal launch like this and people getting refunds and this, the, the game being taken off the store that, you know, you would learn to make a good game, but I, I'm not a psychic. You know, I, I don't know. You might want to do the same thing again and lose another $400 million. You know, just like other companies are doing right now. They have a slew of bad games and yet they just keep doing it. They just keep doing it. But yeah, I'm not surprised. If it happens, it happens. Not every company can succeed, and having a, a game this bad that it gets taken off, you know, taken down from stores, and yeah. But who knows? Some people might be lenient and give them a second chance. I mean, if you can prove that you're actually good at making games, then sure. You know, if you can produce, like, the next... I don't know, Mario or Banjo-Kazooie or something like that. Not those games in particular, but something as memorable and cherished as that. Yeah, you might be worth sticking around for. But uh, if this is all you have to offer, then good luck. But anyway, that's going to do for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.